this tutorial, we'll discuss how to find general information on Creighton University courses and how to find course information you need to register for your first semester at Creighton. The Creighton University Catalog contains information on all current programs, requirements, university policies, and other topics relevant to your Creighton education. It is updated yearly. Generally, the catalog for the academic year you start at Creighton is the one you should use as a reference on courses, programs, policies, and procedures while you remain a student. From catalog.creighton.edu, you will see the home page for the Creighton University Catalog. You have a couple of options for finding the requirements for majors. For the first option, you can go directly to the major that is of interest to you. Select undergraduate, and then your college, such as arts and sciences. Click a subject under that college that is of interest to you. In this case, we will select English. The left navigation column contains general access to main sections or headlines. The horizontal navigation bar on each page links to specific information related to that headline. Click the tab for majors. A major page will appear with a list of options and requirements. Click on courses in the horizontal navigation bar to see descriptions for all the courses offered by that department. Each course listing includes several important bits of information. The first line contains course subject and number, title, and the number of credits. Some listings also show the semesters in which the course is offered. The paragraph below lists a general course description. Also pay attention to other important information at the end of the paragraph. P, meaning prerequisite, indicates a course that you have to take before you can take this course. A prereq can also be a minimum test score required to get into a course, such as a modern language class. CO, meaning co-requisite, indicates there is a course you have to take in the same semester as this course. In this example, English 170 has a co-requisite of COM 101. Note that when you register for a course that has a co-requisite, you must register for both courses at the same time to avoid a registration error. Spend time researching and reviewing the catalog. Not only is it an excellent resource on academic requirements and courses, but it is the go-to document on Creighton policies. There is another option for finding the requirements for a major. Click on the link for your college. Click on the tab for majors. Scroll to the bottom of the page for a list. Click the link for a major. A major page will appear with a list of options and requirements. The course schedule lists courses available in a given semester. It changes every semester. To find the course schedule, go to thenest.creighton.edu, but don't log in. Click Schedule of Courses from the menu. On the Dynamic Schedule page, select the term you want to search from the drop-down menu. Click Submit. Be sure to select Fall 2020 for fall courses. Note that the phrase academic term 2020-2021 does not list fall courses. It contains a list of year-long courses offered by the Creighton Edge program. On the class schedule search page, use the filters to narrow your search. For example, select a subject 
to find all the courses in that subject. You can also type a specific course number to see just that course. Once you have set your filters, click Class Search. An effective way to find courses for your first semester is to filter by attribute type. Attributes refer to specific areas of the Modus Core. Note that if you search on this field, be sure that subject is all and that the course number is blank. For example, select 1 CCC Modus Contemporary Composition. Then click Class Search to see a list of sections found. Here's information on what's included on the Sections Found list. Course Title, 5-Digit CRN. You will register using CRNs, so make a list of these numbers for the courses you want to take. Course Number and Section. There may be more than one section of any course. This example is Section A. Each section has a different meeting day and time. Course attributes include the core requirements that this course fulfills. There are links to the catalog description as well as View Course Materials, which lists required textbooks and other items needed for the course that are available at the Creighton Bookstore. The class meeting days and times that are listed will help you plot your schedule on a calendar or list. Note that the letters under the Days column correspond to weekdays. M is Monday, T is Tuesday, W is Wednesday, R is Thursday, and of course F is Friday. Instructors' names and email links. To help in planning your schedule, Start by making a grid showing days in columns and times in rows. Explore a variety of courses and record them on your grid. Be sure to note CRNs for both your first choice courses and alternatives. This will help you make changes if you encounter any registration errors. You'll learn more about registration details and how to register on the NEST.